Shredded Crumble, back with another one. In this video I'm going to show you how I get a perfect finish just using that gauge and trowel there, that edge and trowel and that broom. That's the concrete I'm doing there. All I've done there is tamped off the concrete and got it all level. From that back there to the front here. I'm working way along with the tamp. I get all the concrete leveled in. Then what I'll do is wait a little while, let the concrete firm up. Then I'm going to show you how I finish the concrete with that gauge and trowel and that edge and trowel and that broom. Yeah, so the concrete's all in, it's all leveled off, all tamped off now. What I'll do is just leave that a little while, let the concrete firm up, then I can use the gauge and trowel, work in the service area of the concrete, getting the cream up on the on the concrete as well for that final finish. Yeah, so the concrete's all firmed up now. What I can do now with this Marshalltown gauge and trowel is just take out the tamp marks all the way over this slab. All I'll be doing is just working this gauge and trowel across the surface. I won't be moving no concrete. All this trowel is doing is taking out the tamp marks and getting a bit of cream up there on the surface. As you can see there, there's a quite a lot of bleed water on there. And also I need that to evaporate before I do the final finish. So what I'm doing there with the, the gauge and trowel, just working the surface there. Working it back and forth. Getting that cream up. Yeah, so I worked my way across the rest of that slab there. Also as well, now that the concrete's firmed up enough, I can start shaping up the edge. I don't worry about things like that. There's a stone in there. I'll get that with a little bit of concrete fat. Not a problem. So yeah, start shaping up the edge with the edge and trowel now. It won't be the first time I go over this. At the very end I'll give it a final polish off. And again with me gauge and trowel just flatten that down a little bit. So yeah, I'll just work my way around the whole slab doing that process. Let the bleed water evaporate a little bit and then give it a final trowel off as well. Just gone over the slab there with the, the gauge and trowel there. That's one time with the gauge and trowel. One time with the edge and trowel. She's all sitting there now. All I've got to do is wait for that uh, bleed water to evaporate. Then I'll go over again with the gauge and trowel and then hopefully ready to get that broom finish coming through. Great little till the gauge and trowel. It's my go-to trowel for daily use. Yeah, so I've just given this side here uh, uh, the last trowel off. But straight away after this, I will be getting the broom on it. It's got to that stage now where I need to get that broom on it. So final trowel off there with the gauge and trowel on this side. That side there is still a little bit wet, but once it's once it's ready, I'll go again with the gauge and trowel and give it a final trowel off. But she's ready to go. All I do, I want to work from the back, keep that broom nice and straight from the back to the front. 
that's pretty good got a little bit of fat there but I can deal with that at the end and then what I'll do is should be able to get a nice edge on this now as well that's the process I'm going to be doing now carry this out through all the way around final trowel off final edging off once I've done the broom across and same through there Yeah, the gauge and trowel done a fantastic job of trowelling off the concrete before the final finish. I got great results with that. Also edged it all out there with the Marshalltown edge and trowel. I've done a broom finish on there as well. But that played a very important part. Trowelling off the concrete is the most important part before you get the final finish. I'm well pleased with that. I haven't seen anyone on YouTube do a finish like that. I'm well pleased with that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on notifications.